previously on Blast Over. This time on Blast Over. What do you think? Yeah. It looks like a cool size there. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Sweet. And then like, I was thinking, you know, I'll take like the basically the real picture, but then um, use some bold line work to like yeah. get into a traditional style. Yeah, that'd too, be cool. Like a mix up, you know? Yeah, that'd be good. Cool. Right, sweet. Yeah. Cool. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. Stone Cold Starter! You want a cold one? This one's cold. This girl is one of my regulars. She's moving away soon, so we've been trying to complete this sleeve uh, by stacking on thing after thing, and it's kind of like a traditional style horror sleeve. So you can see we have like the Freddy claw, and then the hand is um, like a heart with bees, and uh, that's to represent like Candyman. We also have a tattoo on the back of her arm that I think is for House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, and she wanted to add this Donnie Darko piece too, which I, I guess it's not a horror movie necessarily, but it's just, you know, one of her favorites and it's kind of along that spooky line, so. It's a trip if you've never seen it, like the end's such a crazy twist. I think you should, everyone should watch that movie at least once. Um, so yeah, I've seen that mask probably a zillion times in my life, so it was really easy to uh, transfer over to skin. I've always wanted to do this tattoo actually, so uh, really cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
lot of ink, so everyone's always asking her where she got it, so great representation of the shop too. Positive person, perfect client. <laughs> watching blast over with Brian Briggs if you haven't already please subscribe below and uh, share with a friend so I can get this out there thank you